welcome back to our channel so we are here at the hotel cheyenne this is on paris it's our first time here we've never stayed here before um and we are we've had a day in the parks today we've had a really lovely day actually um and now we're heading over to the chuck wagon cafe it's a buffet restaurant here at uh, hotel cheyenne now we stayed over in uh, sequoia lodge and we've eaten in there um, uh, their version, yeah. Yeah. it's Hunter's Grill their version isn't yeah. it? You don't have to be staying at this resort in order to go to the Chuck Wagon Cafe, you no. can just make a reservation On no matter app. where you're staying or even if you're not staying um, and sample this buffet. Yeah. So you just need to go to the Disneyland app and you can book your restaurants on there. I think it's 38 euros per person Okay. Um, currently, obviously that could change. Um, and that's all you can eat, um, it, but it includes one drink each, yeah. any extra drinks, obviously an additional charge. Yeah. Um, but that's soft drinks, so, so it's either one like soft drink or a water, I think the options were. Okay. There is also a separate bar here as well, which I would quite like to try before we go. Yeah, um, we're only here for a few oh, days. the Red Garter Saloon. Is that there? the, oh yeah. yeah, there we go, it's there. We'll show you as we walk past. Yeah. So they're next to each other, so the Red Garter Saloon is here, and then the Chuck Wagon Cafe is just next to it. Um, Gems is taking a picture of the balloon as it's in flight during sunset. I bet that's actually a really nice view from up there. So just to give you your bearings, it's actually in the main building this. So this is where all the reception of the is and the Starbucks and the general store is here. Um, so if you're ever lost, it's in the centre of the resort. Okay, we don't think we can get through the front, so we're just going to go through the bar. Yeah, we think we're going to go through the bar and then around our, on ourselves and through the entrance that way. Yeah. I think this is just a facade. We are going to go to the saloon, we just spotted on the wall here, it's open from 4pm until, let's say, 1am. <laughs> it doesn't say, it just says 00am, zero, zero maybe 12, don't know. Um, but it should actually be open now, but it looks quite quiet inside. Oh yeah, it just takes you into the uh, into the reception, then you just turn around on yourself. Past the fireplace. And then to the Chuck Wagon Cafe here. Here we are, we're just waiting to uh, check in. waiting for our table but you can just see into the um to the buffet bit there where you can um get your food so i quite like the way that it's kind of set out like with the food like and then the chefs kind of behind like the counter i quite like that oh i don't mind you choose <laughs> <laughs> Once you check in, you then pay up front. Um, it's 38 euros each, and then they give you, as part of it, like I said before, you get your, your drink voucher. Once you sit down, the server then will take your drinks voucher because you choose your drinks at the till, yeah. and then they bring your drinks. So we have just had our drinks delivered. Um, so now I guess we just go and get the food. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so here's the food section. Where do you want to go? Um, oh, don't know. I'm overwhelmed. There's so much to choose. Okay, should we start? Should we just start here? So it says, please don't waste. Eat up. Don't just taste. Oh, bolognese. Oh, so there's lots of all pastas here. Ravioli. Ravioli, penne pasta, and then the sauces. And then it's the chili. So that's a vegan chili. Ratatouille. Green beans. I'm not sure what that is. Quite mixed vegetables. Isn't is it? it? Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, those that you can see here, they're barbecue chicken legs. Oh, we can see like little, little, little <laughs> Mickey. <laughs> so they're chicken legs, and, and then breaded chicken bites. Oh yeah. These are the Mickey's. Little pomme de terre, crispy potato Mickey's. Also, this is part of the uh, Halloween celebration, so this is octopus. So you can't, you can't have that. No. Oh, is that octopus? Tex-Mex lasagna. Mm. 
Um, and then we've got stir fried stir fried beef with corn and then there's fillet steak, um, sauce, peppercorn sauce, um, corn, salmon, rice, um, mushroom stir fry and then your veg and then your white, white wine sauce. sauce. Here you've got your fries and then I think this is um, chicken like with spices. So these smoked pork ribs, I think those are jacket potatoes. And then you have salads on this side, so it's a salad bars you would expect. That is tomatoes, cheese, carrots, cauliflower, eggs. And then there's like a centre section here. I think this is more, oh is it meats? Like charcuterie, sir. Ah, charcuterie. So, bison terrine, rice and corn, so it's like your cold, cold cuts, um, dried ham, chorizo, uh, prawns, coleslaw, bread, more salad on that side, potato salad, lemon quarters. Ah, they pop, yes. We've got brownies. Ooh, the floating islands. We've got 30th celebration macarons. Um, chocolate mousse. Catalan, Catalan cream, I'm not sure what that is. Jelly. Um, and then we've got some pear and almond pie. Ooh, that looks really good. Ooh, cherry, cherry puree pie. Ooh, that sounds good. Yeah. Um, some tarts. That's a 30th celebration. Yeah. Which is blueberry mousse. Um, chocolate banana and passion fruit cream dessert. Apple pie. That's the cup. That's part of the Halloween celebration. Yeah, they're cool, aren't they? Yeah. Pecan pie, little Mickey vampires, um, and then lemon meringues, and then your cheeses and fruit salad. So, brie. Oh, brie. Um, some blue cheese, pepper jack cheese, apple compote, apple crumble, and then fruit. Okay. Hand oh yeah, so it's worth saying each table's got its own hand sanitizer. I'm really impressed with that because one of the reasons I don't like buffets, particularly since COVID, is because obviously you're sharing the spoons and yeah. stuff. So I've got some ribs, yep. I've got a tiny piece of sirloin steak, some chicken wings, I've got a little cornbread. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. Uh, um, some Mickey bites and some green beans. Did you get any peppercorn sauce? A little bit on my steak, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I also got green beans and the little Mickey potato things. I'm gonna try the vegan chili and the mushroom stir fry, and then I got like a little corn. Um, and I did have to get some Mickey veg as well, but you can't see it. Um, I say Mickey veg because all the veg is cut into little Mickey Mouse shapes. Desserts. Do you say desserts or pudding? <laughs> Depends. Do you mean? I normally say pudding, but when I'm with you, I say dessert. Oh, really? Because it's a stitch, it's a stitch. Yeah, reference. so pudding is very British, yeah. English, <laughs> the correct way that English people would say it. Desserts is American, I think. Yeah. But anyway. it's when um, in Lilo and Stitch, when, uh, um, when Stitch, uh, who is it? Lilo says, Stitch wants desserts. She, she, says, she says he's had a rough day. Yeah. And so he needs desserts. <laughs> <laughs> we all need desserts. <laughs> <laughs> or when you're in Disney. I have a severe nut allergy. I've got my EpiPen in my bag. <laughs> in case. But one thing I have found is that a lot of the desserts here in Disneyland Paris tend to have nuts in them. Some of the main, some of the main, like the main food as well, sometimes have nuts in as well. Yeah. So you really need to check. Like if you're a nut allergy sufferer, you need to mention it when you're ordering your food, or you, or you, you know, if you're at a buffet, ask the service because. They do put nuts in a lot of things. Mm. So and I it's am, not always on the label either. No. I am, I am uh, quite restricted on what I can have for dessert. Um, so I've got... This is a, a cherry tart, which looks really good actually. Yeah. I just hope it's not got almond in it. I'm <laughs> sure it would say cherry and almond. Well, I've got a similar one with pear and it does, it does it say, does say it almond. Well. I think it'll be fine. And then I've got a little um, Mickey vampire pumpkin like 
cookie type thing. It's got like a pumpkin cream or a pumpkin, yeah, inside. I didn't realize he just came off that. And then that's just a chocolate fondant, so that's just got like gooey chocolate inside. And then he also got a little strawberry ice cream from the freezer oh, too. Walls. Yeah. And then your, yours looks really good because you've got 30th stuff as well. I got a pear and almond tart, two Mickey 30th anniversary macaroons, a pumpkin Mickey. I don't know what it is. It's like a, just like a cake, like, like a, a cookie cake, cake. casing. And I got this as well. And I, I tried to remember the name of it all the way back, and I remembered it. And then when I got to the table, I forgot. But it's, it's some sort of it's cream. Like a yeah, but it's not like it's not hard on top. It's just it's just all cream. Yeah. So yeah, that, this is what we got. Just saying that we like at the bar. The the, the stools of the the horses. It's really cute. Things. I might sit on one. You gonna and take a picture of me? Is that one? So Anne decided at the last minute that he wanted to sit on one of these nice bar stools that are like a saddle. We didn't have any stomach to get on, so I climbed on and now I've got one. So now I'm, I picked up the camera and now I'm gonna watch him get off. Go on, off you go. So try to get out this side. <laughs> <laughs> go on. Might be able to slide up. <laughs> well done, well done. <laughs> So it's worth mentioning if you are staying here at the hotel shed and they also serve breakfast here as well. They just turn the sign around. We were just going to finish the night by having a quick drink in the Red Garter Saloon. <laughs> See what it's like. When we came through before it actually looked quite good so we're going to have a look. <laughs> it is very red. We're just going to have a quick cocktail but um... <laughs> <laughs> a, quick, a quick one, but um, we just thought we'd show you the menu. So this is the 30th menu. So one of the biggest surprises was that they do beignets, which is really good. We've also got the uh, Disneyland Paris Mickey shortbread. It's quite big, we've seen that in the parks before. And then here's the good stuff. So we've got this smoothie for 10.50. There's banana coconut and blueberry purees, Greek yogurt, almond vanilla drink and whipped cream. And then I'm gonna get this 30th cocktail here. So that's raspberry flavour vodka, violet liqueur, black currant syrup, apple juice, egg white and lime drink. Now that to me is a perfect cocktail. We've also got this one. Uh, champagne brut. I'm not going to try and pronounce that. <laughs> Bergamo liqueur, raspberry puree, spirulina extract and egg white. And then some anniversary wines on the bottom. And they've also got this Halloween menu as well. So they've got the Little Devil cocktail. Uh, the Kraken Black Spice Drum, Passion Fruit Nectar, Lime Juice, Garf Syrup, Plant Based Coal and Pepper. The Poisoned Apple, sorry you can't see that there. Martini Fierro, Ginger Beer, Cranberry Nectar, Apple Juice and Cinnamon Syrup. This is an alcoholic or non-alcoholic option. Orange juice, passion fruit, nectar, mango puree, lime juice, and spicy pumpkin syrup. And I think you get gummy worms on the top of it there as well. And then uh, this beer. So we just thought while waiting for our cocktails, we'd just talk about um, Chuck Wagon Cafe. Go on, what did you think? I really enjoyed it. So did I. Now we always have the uh, reservations about, like we said before, about a buffet restaurant, but it was great. And, uh, it was really, really good. The food was amazing. The way that it was all laid out was really nicely done. I felt like it was really like the, it was really spacious. I felt like the food that was hot was on like a hot plate, and it and there was the, the chefs behind it constantly like putting like more food out and kind of checking it was all okay and for me that was like a, a big thing. I I am I'm so happy with this whole hotel. I feel like it's one of the cheaper hotels on the Disney property. We've stayed at Santa Fe and we've stayed at Sequoia Lodge and this is by far my favourite hotel. I love like we said before like the theme is amazing and it was it, that was exactly how it was in the in the restaurant as well. Like the theming was really really good. Um, the service was excellent. Um, 
if you wanted any extra drinks or anything, you just had to go up to the bar and order them and then come and sit back down again. But that wasn't a problem. I felt it was a really good selection of food. Yeah, actually on that note, when you when you look on the, the menu online, it gives like a selection of food, but there's actually there's actually more when yeah. you get there than what it says on the menu. Because I'll be honest, I was like, mm, well, I can have ribs. Like I'll probably just have ribs, yeah. but like I had so much more than that. Yeah, and because. Oh, I, I'm, I'm pescatarian, so when I read the menu, like, oh, I thought there was vegan chili and salmon, so I didn't think there was going to be that much wrong, but there was, there was so much more. Yeah. It was really good, like, 100% recommend it. And the desserts are great as well. The desserts are really, really good. And I love the fact that they've kind of got, like, a mix of, like, the Halloween stuff and the 30th. One of my main worries was that we were going to come, because I was really excited to be visiting during the 30th. I was really worried that we'd miss out on a lot of that stuff, but I really don't feel like we have it all. Um, like I said, like before, like with these menus, they've still got like the 30th menus as well. Um, they just double up. So the 30th stuff and then the Halloween yeah. stuff. So really, really good. Like really good. And, and what, do you think, for the price, do you think it's worth it? It depends on how, how much we just put away, yeah. really, at the end of the day. We had a couple of plates and then a dessert. So we, Three plates. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're full. But we're not like overly full. But that's good. I hate this. I hate eating so much that you feel so full like that. Yeah. Like I knew, I kind of knew after play one really that I was like, no, I'm, you know. But I've had a little bit extra. I'm thinking if you, because we've never done the dining plan before. Uh, I'm thinking if, if you if you ate like that every day on the dining plan, then it probably would be worth the time to do that. Yeah. Could mean we've never done it, so we could. Uh, I think that would be next on our list is to maybe do a dining plan. Yeah. Because I do think, like, we've always kind of said, like, it's not worth it for us. My only issue with the dining plan is that I feel like you're kind of tied to making sure you're going and getting stuff, whereas we would be perfectly happy just kind of, like, plodding along and just sure eating where we can, you know? And you have to make sure you make your reservations without us. You, you could get not actually getting into the restaurant. Yeah. yeah. I, would, I would do it. I think our reservation is that we've never really had that many amazing hope like amazing restaurant opportunities but we were just talking about it and like some of our favorite restaurants like we love um silver spur steakhouse which is in um frontierland in the disneyland park we love remy's absolutely there's so many places now that i feel like it's really starting to take a turn and like the restaurants are really really good like now and so yeah i would put, like definitely recommend the dining plan now i think could not fault it in any way at all really could you so i'm well excited for our cocktails now <laughs> My boy's an apple drink. Look at mine, look at mine. It's cute, isn't it? It's really cute. Uh, so what is that that powder? I've no idea, but it's like a rather like a raspberry type. Isn't it? I like the glass as well, the glass is like slightly thin. Oh my god, this is the best thing I've ever seen. I can't remember what's in it, it's just some sort of black colour. Yeah, okay. So, raspberry flavour vodka, which I like anyway, um, uh, violet liqueur, Ooh. which I also really like, black currant syrup, apple juice, egg white and lime. Lime drink. Lime drink. I'm assuming <laughs> that's like cordial. Cordial, yeah. Yeah, it's really good. Really is it strong? It is quite strong. You can really taste the violet in it. Okay. I've got a lemon poison apple, so it is a uh, martini, ginger beer, you tell I'm reading this, <laughs> uh, cranberry nectar, apple juice and cinnamon syrup. I don't know what the foam is on top. But... It'll be like a, an egg white, won't it? it smells like a, what? It smells like a candle. Is it cinnamony? Yeah, it smells, it smells like home scent. Mm. Oh, that's going to be strong, I think that smells yeah. strong, yeah. Is it not? I don't think it's strong. I feel like mine is quite strong. It tastes, it tastes sweet but also not sweet at the same time. It's hard to explain. Should we switch? Yeah. It's very cinnamony. Cinnamony. Is that a word? It is. Oh. It does taste like Christmas. Oh, yours is strong. Mine's really strong. It does that thing we you know when you feel it, like here. <laughs> oh, they're both really nice. Oh, I have to say, 
I was like, these are all my favourite flavours, but that. I really love cinnamon, like I really love it. Like apple flavoured things, that's really nice. Very refreshing actually as well. Happy Halloween. And we're back in the room. Really, really, really nice evening. Would you say so as well? I would, and really thought, I was on the way back, I was like, oh, I do feel a bit bloated actually. <laughs> I didn't think I'd, I'd eaten that much, but I guess I guess I did. It's just all the stuff that you did have was quite filling. Yeah. Um, but yeah, really, really good. Would 100% recommend trying it. Um, whether you're in resort or whether you you know you're sitting in another hotel or whether you're in another Disney hotel and you just want to try something a bit different really good so thank you so much for watching guys if you've got any questions if you want to drop them in the comment box down below we'll do our very best to answer anything uh, that we can um but if not we will link all the websites and everything down below as well so you can have a look at the menus and stuff like that thank you so much for watching as always and we'll see you all next week bye guys bye.